Hi, my name is James Holroyd from Pocket Survey Cloud Surveying Software. Welcome to this short demonstration. I'm going to show you how the building condition software works and how to create your surveying reports quickly and easily. It can also be used for dilapidations, snagging, voids and repairs since it has the option of using costed works from your own schedule of rates. Contact us to get your low cost trial where you can get your first month's subscription at a reduced price. The first thing to mention about the app is that it's designed for mobile devices, but also works great on desktop computers. There's only one interface to learn, which looks the same on all devices. So you can use it on Apple, Android, tablets and phones, as well as desktop computers, such as Windows, Mac and Chrome. So let's look at a building condition survey I've already done to give you an overview of what comes out at the end. On the buildings list, I tap on a building and you'll see the front page photo and inspection status. And then below that, you've got some buttons. We can add an item. We can copy the building information. There's a button to create the PDF inspection report and one to generate the PDF report. If we scroll down, you'll see which client this report belongs to. That is if you have multiple clients. You can turn off the clients feature in the app setup if you don't want to use it. The inspection details section shows the inspector, inspection date, inspection time, the type of inspection, followed by some free format descriptive notes. The building details section shows more information about the building. There's an optional section to capture general building information, such as building date and building construction. Of course, the most essential part of the report is the building items section. You will see all the building items inspected, showing the latest items inspected first. However, this order can easily be changed to suit your own needs. If you tap the view button, you can see the whole list for the building. You can add more building items using the add button. Towards the end, you've got general building images such as floor plans, certificates, and any image you want to add to your report. If you want to make changes to the inspection, select the edit button. Let's scroll back to the top of the building record. To create your PDF report, choose the create PDF report button. And when the report is ready, select the open PDF report button. Let's look at a typical report in more detail. The front page is branded with your logo and your address. Then you've got your front photo of the building, plus an optional trade logo. Then you get an automatic table of contents, which is all hyperlinked. So you can jump to the different sections quickly. The report contains quite a lot of detailed information, all created at the click of a button. Some sections are optional and can be turned off in the app setup. Then you've got an introduction page. Now all these phrases can be edited within the app, but we'll come to that later in the app setup. The overview section of the report shows inspection details, optional client details, building details. And if you've enabled the costed works feature, you've got a total cost for any remedial works added to inspected items. If you've enabled the building information feature, you can capture a lot of general information about the building. All of this is configurable in the app setup. Then for each building element and relevant areas in the building, we show detailed information. This information covers Item and location, description, location, free format notes. Condition status and condition commentary that can be built from a list of standard phrases of defects. Note, we're just displaying dummy text here, but the app contains a comprehensive list of defects that you can modify yourself. Cost of remedial works is summarized next. You can have up to eight photos for each item along with captions. If you've chosen the works add-on feature, remedial work details will be listed below the photos. Each building item is shown in a similar format. Your clients will love the report format. There's a section for any general photos taken during your inspection. And the page explaining any terms for your client. There's a user definable scope of inspection page. You've got your disclaimer and limitations section. Bear in mind that all these phrases in your report can be set up within the app to customize it to your needs. The quality assurance statement will show the inspector's signature. And if you've chosen to use quality checkers, their details as well. At the end, you have your floor plans and any additional building images you've included in your report. If you want to save your PDF report, tap the download button to save it to your storage area. Let's close the PDF report and get back to the app. We can return to the buildings list by tapping the buildings icon at the bottom left. So let's start the new schedule of condition survey to see how easy it is. Tap the add button at the bottom right of the buildings list screen. You'll see a scrollable form with several fields to fill in. Most of these will be user configurable menus to speed up data entry. First, you can choose a client, or if you want to, add a new one. Let's add a new client organization. Type my client, then tap use. Then you can either add a client contact name or pick an existing one. You can store other information about your client, which is helpful if you want to contact your clients on site. And so you have a little client database. Then we can choose the inspector. 
You can have different classes of inspectors, like more powerful administrators. You can also have a client login where a client can access their reports via a client portal. Choose an inspection date and an inspection time. And then add some inspection notes if you want to. The inspection status menu helps you track the workflow of your reports. We use a color coded pipeline approach where you go from schedule through to completed work. Remember, you can add this information on site or do it in the office if you prefer. Now let's add some building details. You have a place to add a building reference or you can use a report reference instead. Adding addresses is easy since Google will search for the address if you start typing it in. You can import addresses in bulk using the import feature within the app. The building name is used to identify different buildings at the same address. We also have building type and an optional short description of the building. It's a good idea to allocate the report to a town, especially if you work nationwide. Enter other building details as required. Your reports will look much better with photos and Pocket Survey makes this easy for you. So let's take a building photo. I'm going to choose one that I've already taken because I'm using a desktop computer, but you would snap this on site directly from your camera. That's the photo added to the front page of your report. You use a similar approach when taking building item photos, then choose save. You'll notice it's prompting us to choose which inspection type to use since it's a mandatory field. Choose an appropriate inspection type, then save to add your report to the buildings list. Now we've set up the first part of the report. We can now inspect the items in the building and enter information into the survey. So we'll tap into the building record to view it and you'll see the information we've entered so far. We tap the add item button to load the scrollable data entry form to assess a building item. You should establish a location first, so you should choose a particular floor or external area. And then, optionally, you can specify a room if required. You can tailor the list of locations to suit your needs in the app setup. We'll leave location 2 blank for now. Then, you choose from the group of building elements. A quick note here, we group building elements into sections, individual items and descriptions to organise data entry on site, making it easier for the surveyor. Then choose the roofing section. Next, we need to choose the building element being inspected, followed by a description from the menu list and any optional freeform comments. We can choose a condition rating. Note that you can use your own condition ratings if you need to. If we choose anything other than good, we get a list of defects to choose from. Let's pick some. You will notice it automatically builds the condition comments from the items chosen from the defects list. You can edit the condition comments further if you need to. Let's take a photo. The app will automatically launch the camera on your mobile device. However, I'll pick one from my computer because I'm demonstrating the app on a desktop. You can take more photos in a similar way. You can take up to eight photos per building item. We can add a caption to each photo. So that's one building item done. Now choose save. A quick note here. When you inspect other items, the PS Cloud software remembers some previous selections to speed up your data entry. Once you've inspected all the items in your building, you can now create your PDF report. You tap into the building record and choose the more prominent Create Report button. You will be prompted to confirm. It takes about 30 seconds while the software generates the report in the background. You can continue to work on other inspections while you are waiting. The Open Report button will appear when your report is ready. So far we've covered the essential aspects of creating a building condition survey report. As you've seen, it's quick and easy to do and produces a fantastic client report. But there's lots more to the software. For example, if your client wants a costed list of remedial works, you can use our costed works add-on feature. Look at our longer training videos to find out more about this feature. The most revolutionary part of all the Pocket Survey apps is the App Setup feature, where you can customise menus and report sections to suit your needs. You will see several configuration areas. Look at our longer training videos to find out more about this feature. We can also control the report designed to customise the PDF report to your needs. Furthermore, you can view your data as spreadsheet tables, also and export your data to Excel. Now, remember to get your low-cost trial if you're not already a Pocket Survey user, where you'll get your first month's subscription at a vastly reduced price. Remember, there's no obligation to carry on your subscription after the trial month, and you've got access to the full software, including free training and support. If you don't like the software after that, that's no problem. Just let us know and we won't bill you, and you can continue your search for a digital solution for your building condition surveys. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to learn more about any of our Pocket Survey apps, please visit our website pocketsurvey.com where you'll see lots of information about all our building and inspection software. So that's the Pocket Survey building condition software in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Bye for now and see you soon.